Hi everyone, last week I got this wonderful instrument, the Osmos by Expressive E, and I've been playing around with it, liking it a lot, and I wanted to share some of the, some of the things that stood out, to me at least. Um, first off, let's talk a little bit about what I'm doing here and how it is set up. So I'm just playing the Osmos by itself. It's using its built-in audio engine, that is the Egan Matrix, made by Haken Audio. Uh, which is the same one that you can find on the Continuum. And then I have a CME WIDI Bluetooth dongle in the MIDI in and out ports, and I have connected my MIDI wrist unleashed watch app, like the Apple Watch app, that can translate motion data into MIDI. So as I move my hand around, I get different values, and these are then connected to macro parameters on the Osmos. So as I play a note, I have filter cut off, and then this bit shifty noise type of stuff. Uh, uh, the bit crushing noise type of stuff. And so the way I've set it up is, I basically put my hand in a resting position, I reset origin, and now this is what the uh, uh, zero value is going to be. And from here on, I can then raise my wrist or pivot it for expression, additional expression that will apply to the whole sound. So, um, the first thing that struck me about the Osmos keyboard is how wonderfully sensitive it is in pressure. Um, you basically go from nothing to something in such a smooth and gradual way, I can barely touch the key and it's already making noise. And then, you can already vibrato there if you want. The second thing that really struck me is how perfectly like, expressive the whole range of the key press is. So you can press your key down. And then release it again without releasing the note. And sort of explore that range. And I'm only like one fourth of the way in here. Still not released it yet. It's just holding on by a thread. And I can resume. It's just so wonderfully expressive. Um, <laughs> makes you want to caress the keys. I mean, that's how I feel about it. Um, so, one thing I did notice, and today's a good day because my fingers are a little bit humid. If the air is dry, you might have some trouble doing the expressiveness here, doing the vibrato, if there is not enough pressure. I found out a trick though. You can stabilize the key by putting your um, thumb in the front of it, and then have you have a little bit more control. So that was really helpful um, a few of the days last week when the air was really dry and my fingers were really dry. So another thing that I thought was so lovely and I hoped it would be that way is that you don't really need a lot of presets. So you have this one sound that I've currently taken a liking to. Uh, I'm playing it softly and it's sort of like a string based sound, but then if I, if I attack it really fast, then it becomes a plucky sound. And then you have all these other expressive things you can do, like you can start softly and then I quickly release it and give an additional influx of energy.
And this by itself, to me, turns it into a complete musical instrument where I don't find the need to change sounds that much. I really want to learn how to play this one sound at the moment that I resonate with a lot. Um, because there's so much depth and so many axes to play. Um, so I worked on a little melody here just to show off some of the expressive things that I figured out. Um, so I have still the watch connected and we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Well, some mistakes, <laughs> still getting the grips with all the different dimensions of expressiveness. Um, but yeah, thanks so much Expressive E for, for making this incredibly wonderful instrument. Um, yeah, see you around, bye. <laughs>